Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting radical equation from Russia. We have the square root of x minus square root of y equals the square root of x plus 1 minus the square root of y minus 1. And we're going to be finding x minus y from here. So I'm going to go ahead and present the solution first, and then we'll talk about a couple interesting things. So let's get started. So I, I'm trying to find x minus y, and here's uh, what I'd like to do. Even though there's a couple different ways to go about it, I'm going to go ahead and just square both sides. I mean, that makes sense, right? When we have radicals, we square both sides. So let's go ahead and do it. And we have a minus b being squared, so it's going to be x minus 2 times the square root of xy plus y equals x plus 1 minus 2 times the square root of x plus 1 times the square root of y minus 1, which can be combined later on, plus y minus 1. So we get rid of pretty much uh, lots of different radicals here, and we can also simplify this. That's something that's really nice about this expression, is that, for example, x cancels out, because we have x on both sides, we have y on both sides, and also 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So a lot of things cancel out, leaving us with negative 2 times something equals negative 2 times something else. After doing all these simplifications, of course, negative 2s also cancel out. So we can do that. We couldn't do it uh, while we were adding. But now we can do it. And now uh, we have radicals on both sides. So let's go ahead and distribute the right-hand side. I can basically go ahead and, you know, I could probably just skip that step, right? You guys can do it. Easy. Uh, and I can just distribute because these two can be multiplied inside. xy minus x plus y minus 1. And you can get rid of the radicals by squaring both sides and write this as xy equals xy minus x plus y minus 1. Awesome. More cancellations, right? xy cancels out, leaving us with something super duper simple. And guess what? If we can put the negative x plus y on the left-hand side and write it as x minus y, and negative 1 stays on the right-hand side, and guess what we were looking for? We were looking for x minus y. Wow, are you serious? Is it that easy? Well, maybe, maybe not. Okay, but we got x minus y equals negative 1 from here. Now, let's go ahead and look at the graph of this relation. I'm not calling it a function because it may not be. It may be a closed curve, uh, you know, um, something interesting. And that's what we're going to look at next. And let me write the equation one more time. And you can definitely graph this. And easy you can use it um, desmos for example or any other graphing tool or graphing calculators i don't know if graphing calculators can do this by the way but anyways i graphed it for you and here's the awesome magnificent relation yay what there's no graph well i kind of zoomed out to the 1000 level but you don't see anything why because there's no graph and so yes it's kind of surprising isn't it why is there no graph? And what did we solve if there's no graph, right? So let's go back and do a little bit more digging into what is going on here. So there's more to this than meets the eye. So let's find out. Okay. So one more time, this is our expression. Square root of x minus square root of y equals square root of x plus 1 minus the square root of y minus 1. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. So I'm going to write it in a nicer way. Put the x's together because they are, you know, good friends. And I put the y on the other side. And hopefully this makes more sense. Did it? Okay, here's what we're going to be looking at. A lot of times you don't really think about, you know, looking at these things. You just solve the problem. Hey, I got the answer if that's the goal. Like you're taking a math competition. You have to solve each problem in one and a half minutes, so on and so forth. If there's no pressure, obviously, you're going to relax and take a deeper look. So here's what we're going to do. Obviously, square root of x is less than the square root of 1, right? Because x is less than, okay, x is less than x plus 1, isn't it? So square root of x is less than square root of x plus 1. So what? Well, it means square root of x minus the square root of x plus 1 is going to be negative. Great. Let's take a look, let's take a look at the right-hand side of the equation. Obviously, the square root of y is going to be greater than the square root of y minus 1 because y is greater than y minus 1. If you don't believe that, write it as an inequality. Subtract y from both sides. You're going to get 0 is greater than negative 1, which is true. Okay, great. So this is true. 
And that means square root of y minus the square root of y minus 1 is greater than 0. So here's the problem. It's a problem, but here's a bigger problem. We have an expression that is negative on the left-hand side and expression positive on the other side, but they're equal. It's impossible. They, they, they're not equal to 0 because obviously x and x plus 1 cannot be the same, nor can y and y minus 1 be. So there is no solution to this. No solution, no good, no graph, no nothing. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.